Well, thanks for watching my DIY makeover of this cabinet. It's really nice. And, you know, it's all wood. And this is just paper that we're going to take off. And it's we're going to just paint it and take this off. And this is painted in here, so we're going to paint it a color in here. Replace the, uh, the cording here. And uh, it's just held in by some little tacks, which is easy to take off and give it a sand. And we're also going to take some uh, spray stain and stain it. Uh, and it's gonna work great for the bathroom. So we've decided to paint the wood front because not all of this will come off. It's got a pretty pattern in the wood, but it's just not going to work with a spray stain or any other stain. So we've just decided that maybe this would show up even a little better if we painted it. So that's what we're going to do.
this is the uh, the cabinet that we painted uh, a white in here and uh, one color here. Now we're going to put a little darker gray. This is a flat paint and I want to put another uh, coat of paint on it that's more washable. Uh, so we're going to do that now and uh, this So you can see the detail, really nice. And uh, I really like it, not too much paint, just enough. So I'm gonna leave this alone. And you can kind of see this here. And now we have to paint uh, this side. Okay, so everything's painted, everything's dried. I like the way that this looks, and uh, I don't feel it needs any other touch-ups. Normally a cabinet like this sits inside the wall, but this one's gonna be out, so it just needs to look, you know, pretty. And this turned out okay. This is the inside of the frame, so now we're gonna start to put all this back together. I have my glass all cleaned and I have some new cording to go around the inside of the window and I'm going to take these hinges and make this one look like this one. Got this little steel brush here. So once we clean this up then we're going to put our glass in the window or in, into the frame and then put it all back together so we can hang it on the wall. Now we're all done and the last part is to go hang it in the bathroom so we can have a great space for lots of little items that need to be organized. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more do-it-yourself videos.